Hey there, Mini Wargamers. Quirk here from MiniWargaming.com. I'm done. I can't even stand up this high anymore. From MiniWargaming.com with another Warhammer Battle Report. Today I have John with me. Hi. He's going to be rocking out his Chaos and mostly Demons, right? Yeah, mostly, mostly. Gross. I'm going to be playing Harley Quinn's. We're playing 1,850 points. It's going to be an absolute bloodbath. Mm -hmm. Someone will be happy. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> As always, guys, if you're interested in coming in, go to miniwargaming.com slash challenge for all the details. But in the meantime, let's check out these armies. Starting off, we have my 1,850 points of Harlequins. I have my Warlord, who is a Shadow Seer, Mastery Level 2, and his psychic powers are Dance of Shadows and Peel of Discord, as well as Veil of Tears, because it's all from Phantasmancy. He's going to be riding along with this troop squad in their transport. That's the Star Weaver. So it'll be five guys plus the Shadow Seer riding along in this one. Then I've got over here another six-man troop squad riding around in their Star Weaver, and then another troop squad over here. All of my troops are equipped with the Nero Disruptor. Basically, it's a Strength 1, AP 2, Range 12, Flesh Bane. So that's always fun. Then over here I have my Sky Weavers. I have six Sky Weavers here. They all have their Zephyr Glaives, which make it on the charge. They are plus one Strength, AP 2, and I have the exact same unit over here. And then for my heavy support, I have two Void Weavers. They both swapped out their basic weapons for Prismatic Cannons, which makes me able to pick one of three firing modes, either a Large Blast, Small Blast, or a Lance. And for Warlord trait, my Warlord got one on the Twilight Table. Let's him reroll all ones in the hitting phase for shooting and close combat. Also able to reroll ones in for his uh, invulnerable saves. And over here we have John's Chaos. So what did you bring? So for Chaos Demon's attachment, that's my primary. We have Fate Weaver. Uh, he also has for HQ a Herald on a disc, and then there's another Herald over there. Uh, along with them, there's two units of 11 pink horrors, blue and pink. And then there's, I think it's nine, three, six, nine screamers, a Soul Grinder of Slanish, a uh, Lord of Zinch, a Sorcerer, sorry, it's a Sorcerer of Zinch with a Jetpack Psychir, uh, 20 Cultists, a group of elites, uh, a thousand suns, seven of them, and then a chaos fire apprehension. Very nice. Here we have the board we're going to be playing on. The game type we're playing is a Maelstrom of War. It's going to be tactical escalation. So turn one, we get one objective point. Turn two, turn three, so on and so forth. Right now we're going to roll to see who gets to deploy the first objective. I got a three. Four. And John got a four. All right, John gets to place the first one. We'll see where they end up. And the objectives have been placed. So we have objective two out in the middle of a forest here. We have objective six hiding beside these Promethean pipes. Four is right beside these canisters. Over here, we have objective five hiding out in this ruined building. Then we have objective one hiding out in this ruined building right next to a tree. And number three is way over here in this ruin. Roll to see who gets to deploy first. Oh, three. I'm seeing a, I'm seeing a pattern here. I will deploy first. All right. And deployment is done. Starting off, we have your Screamers with your Herald. Mm -hmm. Then we've got your Pink Horrors over here. A thousand Suns, a couple Cultists, a Soul Grinder, Fate Weaver, and more Pink Horrors over here. And then in reserve, you have your Fire Raptor. That's right. And then over here on my side of the board, I have my Jet Bikes. I have a Troop Squad in their Star Weaver. I have another Troop Squad in the Star Weaver with my Shadow Seer. I have my True Void Weavers. I have my Star Weavers jet bikes right here, and one more troop squad back here hiding up by objective five. So you definitely got to deploy first, so you get to go first. I'm gonna try and steal the initiative. Come on, show me a six. Nope. Alright, here we go into chaos, turn one. Starting off throwing the portal glyph down onto the table, so let's see if it scatters. So it scatters, whoop, boom, and then stops right about here. Okay. Put it nice and tight. I got it. And yeah, so demons are coming out, and you get two. Nice. And after the portal glyph, we draw to see which tactical objective he got, and he drew secure objective two. Woohoo! I think that's gonna be an easy one for him to get. And two pink horrors walked out of the portal glyph. Your blue horrors. Mm -hmm. sh they, sh they should be pink. They used to actually split into blue ones way back in the day. Cultists. Only six, six inches. And for them, they're going... Oh my. Oop, lift them up. Four, four inches. Oh, oh. Make it life difficult for yourself there. There you go. Fate Weaver. Flying way up there. Soul Grinder just advancing. For more on them. Got it. 
Moving on to the second phase now, rolling for warp charges. Five. And five, so you're at 24. I'm at 24, yeah. Gross. And I have seven. So I've got Fate Weaver casting Iron Arm. And he got it with two. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to try and cancel that. It's only Master Level 1, right? Yeah. Four, three dice. Three dice. Like Shriek. Go with two. Got it with two. And that's going against my Star Weavers. 3d6, leadership nine. And they're good. Ooh, nice. Then got to cast Perfect Timing on himself. It's Warp Charge 1. We'll throw three dice at it. Got it with one. one. Nice. And I'm not going to try and cancel it. Okay. Next up, doing a beam. Got it. got it with three. Nice. Doing it in a straight line, going over here, and it's actually going to clip both my transports. Strength D6 plus four. Ooh, that's going to be strength nine. So it's glancing on a one. Uh, so the first one. And the pen. And the second one. And it's a glance. Uh, we'll re-roll that with Fate Weaver's one re-roll a turn. Okay. That's so, also a glance. Did okay. nothing. Five bolt invuln against the pen. No, pen goes through, and against the glance. Glance also goes through. And plus two to the roll. That blows it up. Big. Three inches. That's going to catch the other transport as well as one of my jet yeah. bikes. Putting the jet bike on a four. Nope. And then glancing the six. No. Next up, firing the flickering firestorm at my jet bikes. Oh, yeah. And yeah, gets it with four. 46. Oh, that's going to be 14. And these are wounding on threes. Hitting, well, I have to hit first because it's like it's a oh, witch fire. So hitting on twos. Uh, ooh. And then winning on threes, you said? Yep. Because it's strength five against my toughness four. Ugh, that's a lot. And my jet bikes are going to fire off the mirage launchers, so this one per use thing uh, gives me a four up in vuln. And I get one, two bikes dead. Mm-hmm. Gonna try and sacrifice themselves for a bloodthirster. Ooh, we didn't get it. No, nope. close. And after being hit by a flicker flame, they have to do a toughness test or take D3 additional wounds. Toughness 4. They're good. But 6 up field, no pain. Winds of Chaos for Fate Weaver. 3. We will reroll that with Fate Weaver's ability. 8. So 8 on it was the corn. So you have nothing of corn, so you don't take the effects. But on a 6, one of my guys will take D6 strength. 6. Uh, ignore cover rending. Yeah. Ugh, gross. Okay. All right, well, we'll start with the jet bikes over Four here. Down the side. Nope. nope. This thing. Nope. Nope. Oh. Ooh, we did so. Six, so. It's gonna be Four. Four. One, two, three. Two, three. Four. So hits on side, which so is. So that's armor 10, so it's. Four is the glance. Yep. Pen and and one. glance. Okay. So the pen. Does nothing. Now I do get an invul from this? You do get an invul. Okay, so, so I'm going to do the invul against the pen. Five up. Yay! And against the glance. No, nope. so one glance goes through. It's down to one. Against this transport. Nope. And my jet bike's over here. No. Nope. Soul Grinder is going to fire his harvester cannon at my transport way over here. And it will jink. So. Three hits. Yep. And uh, glancing on threes. Glance, pen, pen. All right, well, I got a four up jink, so. Nope, the glance goes through, and then the two pens. Okay, so just one glance goes through. And next up, all the guys are gonna run, so two, four. Uh, there's uh, still, they can't run, and then they're gonna turbo boost. Okay, finishing the run there, there, and then over here, the screamers, going for a turbo boost. Way over my jet bikes, and landing over here. Nine D3 vector strikey things, so it's gonna be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, ouch. Yeah, I'm wounding on fours. I got, ooh. Okay, five saves. Five four-up armor saves. And there goes two more bikes. And that'll be the end of Chaos turn one. That actually hurt quite a bit. Took out two of my two wound bikes, threw some wounds down, took out one of my heavy supports. Yeah, that hurt. And you scored an objective for objective two, so you're at one point. And at the start of my turn one, I drew principal performance. So I score one victory point if at the end of the game my warlord is still alive. I score D3 if at the end of the game my warlord is one pardon me, my warlord is still alive and my enemy's warlord has been destroyed. I can also score D3 plus three victory points if my enemy's warlord was killed by my warlord in a challenge. Starting off my transport here is just going to back up six inches to there and drop off the guys inside. Jet bikes are just gonna we to right here.
this heavy support vehicle right here is going to just come right up here, six inches, and turn around. Jet bikes are just going to fly up here. Before we forget, these guys do have soul blades on them, so on a one, two, or three, it goes away, and it goes away. Next up, this transport's just gonna wee six inches over here and drop out the troops. And this transport here that has one hull point remaining, it's gonna go right here. Move six inches. Next up, going on to the psychic phase, rolling for warp charges. I got six. Starting off, I'm gonna have him cast Veil of Tears on himself, warp charge one. And I got it with one. And trying to cancel it out. Yeah, you got it. Oh, just and then three dice gonna throw Dance of Shadows on this group of guys here. Warp charge one. Got it with one. You can cancel. Oh yeah. Between the shooting phase, the guys inside this transport are gonna fire their Nero disruptors at these guys here, hitting on threes and wounding on twos. That'll be three wounds. Three up invuln. And oh, one, one takes a wound. wound. Next up, these guys are gonna do the same thing with their pistols, hitting on threes. And nice. and wounding on twos. There's two. Three up. Oh, another one dies. All right. Putting one wound on him and one on him. Next, I got four shuriken cannons from the jet bikes firing in, hitting on threes and wounding on twos. And that one's rending, but I don't think it matters because it's the same save regardless. So three up, three rolling ones. Hey, there you go. That's, that's one dead. And the two shuriken cans from the two transports into the same thing, hitting on threes. Oof. And wounding on twos. Three. They're good. Next up, I got four shuriken cans firing at Fate Weaver, who is flying. So these are all snapshots. Hitting on sixes here. Nothing. Next, my troop over there with the narrow pistols are going to try it. Hitting on sixes. Nothing. I try the lance from my transport. Nope. And then the shuriken can from the transport as well. And they transport way in the back, hitting on sixes, nothing. During the assault phase, assault move for these guys. They're going three inches. And during the assault phase, I'm gonna have these guys charge in. Yeah, they, they definitely make it. Hey, I have fleet too. No, that was even worse, but I still make it. <laughs> then my jet bikes are gonna do it as well. Yeah, they make it. And just to avoid problems with models on the terrain here, I'm just going to put them all right next to the terrain like that. But they all make it in with the Hammer of Wrath. Four hammers, uh, Hammer of Wraths, wounding on fours. One. He's good. Starting off with my troops attacking, I got six attacks times four. So six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four attacks, hitting on threes. And wounding on fours. Three up. Oh, one takes a wound. And that will kill that one. And for my jet bikes, again, hitting on threes. And thanks to the Zephyr Glaives and Furious Charge, wounding on threes. Super cocked. There you go. Boop. And two up. Three up, sorry. Three up. Three rolling ones. One, one wound. wound. Three going against my jet bikes. Hitting on fours. Yep. Ugh. That was good. And their strength. Four. So wounding on fours. Ooh. Hey, one. There you go. And a four up. Hey, I made my save. I go. didn't die. There you go. Over here against my troop. Ooh, not very good. And then wounding on threes. Ooh. Three wounds. Three five ups. One dice. Or is it, eight, uh, is it five up in And the herald. Two hits and two wounds. Five ups. One more wound, and that's gonna go on my troop master. Wait, with strength. It's only like strength four. Okay. Yeah, they'll go on my troop master. So you wound. And at the end of my turn, I scored no points because I was barely able to kill anything. So going on now into chaos turn two. Starting on chaos turn two, he drew witch hunter and secure objective four. Third roll for the fire raptor, and it's in. Flying right into here. D6 for the portal. Yep. I don't actually have own any more models, so I'm going to put it <laughs> Okay. Fate Weaver's jumping down into hover mode mm -hmm. and just jumping over to objective four. Long so purposeful. They're going six, six inches. Six X, so. Oh, 
Uncle Hender, move through cover, six inches. So he's going up on top of those pipes. More on the screamers. Oh, Ooh. we'll use Fate Weaver's reroll to reroll that. No, oh, we didn't get it. Oh, so minus bad. one. They're very dead. Baltus are also moving through cover. They're going four inches. And they're just packing it. Now the psychic phase, and you have, uh, 25 warp charges. The herald on the disc is going to try possession and gets it, but perils. Being placed within six inches, looking to go. So, uh, we'll put them like right, right here. like there, sort of thing. Okay. And scatters. Oh, seven, he's gonna miss That's gonna miss up. And what type of mishap is it? Oop. Off the table. Four. Back in reserves. So it goes into ongoing reserve, and the herald on the disc is removed. Casting ignore cover on himself. He's got him a two. Yep. We are going for the beam. He's got him a two. Yep. And I'm going to try and cancel it. I'm going to throw four at this, so half of my warp charge is available. Show me two sixes. Nope, just one. Oh, it goes through. And that will get the transport, two bikes, and one troop. Strength D6 plus four. Oh, strength oh. ten. So two or auto or auto pens the. So strength. roll with, or do you have an inball save on it? I do have a mirage launcher. I can throw okay. out there. So it goes from a five up to or a four up to a five up. So or reverse that five up to a four up. Okay. And nope, it goes through. So, so regardless, it's wrecked, and it blows up because it's AP two plus open top. So how big does it blow up? One inch. Not gonna so get anything. Like anyone. Then on the two bikes, wounding on twos. Yep, and I got my five up. Oh, one survives, but the other one's just dead because it's double his toughness. Mm -hmm. And then on the troop, nope, he's fine. So that will blow up my transport and one jet bike. Next up is going to be Zinch's Firestorm on my troop and gets it with two. Uh, I'm not going to try and cancel that because I think you're going to try something else. Small blast right there. Does it scatter? Ooh. Well, I rolled three dice. Yeah. So I just just re-roll the distance with two. Yeah. You know the direction. Eight inches. Eight minus five, so three. Three inches. So I'll catch one troop and my bike. D6, so a strength six. Yep. So uh, the, yeah. So the bike, nothing, nope. and the guy. One wound. And just a quick five up in volume. He's good. Next up, the flickering firestorm on my troop. Three, four, five, six. Six charges for it, and gets, gets it without a peril, so I can't stop that. So 46 shots. It's going to be 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Gross. On twos. Nice. And then wounding on threes. Uh, strength of five. Never mind, wounding on twos. Ugh, that's a lot of saves. Five up, invulnerable save. Hey, hey. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're dead. Come here, guys. I'm sorry. And with the last three, casting Iron Arm, he gets it with one. With my four remaining charges, gonna try to stop it. Show me one six. There you go. Got it. Twice. Next up, we have Winds of Chaos. Seven. Which is nothing. Five. five. So it's only on Nurgle and my guys, so on a six, yeah. And on that one, yeah. Ugh, gross. So this is a large blast. Yep, large blast. Three, four, eight, five, barrage of noise cover. All right, starting off with that one. Let's get there's 10 inches, oh my. That's gonna miss everybody. Here, I can go off. Not 10, yeah. Zero. And then on this, this one, one here, hit direct hit, and it was strength. Four, I think only. All right, looking for a six to wound. do anything? No. And over here, no. And then the, and then this transport. Got it. Ooh, this might get gross. And scatters off the, the table. Yeah. And shooting, starting off with the fire raptor. And it's going to shoot at something. Both of them. It's going to shoot at both. All right, starting off, we have two auto cannons going into my transport way back there. Eight shots, twin linked, hitting on threes. Threes. Oh. Oh. And it's strength. Seven AP four. Wounding, glancing on threes. Ugh. All right. Five up. Uh, I'm gonna pop my Mirage Launcher for a four up. Actually, yeah, I can jink this, can I? Yeah, you can. Yeah, jinking it, four up. Doesn't make a difference, because two get through. See if they blow up? Nope. The Avenger Cannon. Ooh. Three hits. Yeah. And two wounds. All right. I got two, I'm gonna... Uh, I almost want to jink, but then I am terrible shooting, so I'm not going to jink. Five up. Uh, yeah. Nope. There goes this. It's strength seven, you said? Yes. Okay. Or strength six. Strength six. Okay, it's just one. And the soul grinder's going to run. He has two. fleet, so he'll... Three, three plus three because he's still so six. Okay. 
That'll be it for shooting going on to close combat. Starting off, I'm going to have my troops pile in. Whee. 15 attacks, hitting on threes. And wounding on fives. That'll be two, four, five wounds. Picks up, rerolling ones. Nice. So two dead. Which was these guys? Yep. Okay. And my four jet bikes hitting on threes. And also wounding on fives. There's one, two, three, four more. Four six ups. Ooh, there goes two more. So I'll take the one with the wound. And that one, and another one takes a wound. Again, we got six attacks. Yep. Okay. Three hits. All right. And wounding on threes. Two wounds. Two wounds. All right. Five up. Hey, Ooh, they're good. Like a boss. Spikes. Three hits. Three wounds. Four up. And one takes a wound. And just test. They fail. They're dead. They're dead. Yeah. And demonic instability just kills the rest of them. Consolidating my troops, six inches, and my bikes, six inches. Troops are getting two right there, so they can jump back in the transport, and jet bikes are moving over there. And at the end of Chaos Turn 2, he will score one point for secure objective four. And I think when you killed your guy, I got first blood? I think so. Yeah, so I got one point for first blood. But on my turn, I dropped two objectives, and I got secure objective five. Jet bikes are going to move up to here. Transport's gonna move here, like so, and my guys are gonna get out. So unit five is gonna get back in the transport. My transport's gonna jump over there. These guys are gonna just move up here. And the psychic phase now, rolling for warp charges, five, so I'm at seven. Throw four at Veil of Tears, and I got it with one. Can I cancel it? Yeah, right there. Then gonna cast Dance of Shadows on my jet bikes there. Got it with two. Cancel. Hey, I got it. No sixes at all. So they now have stealth and shrouding on my jet bikes. Into the shooting phase, gonna have my jet bikes fire at Fate Weaver. Do you want to jink? Cause you're a flyer. He has a four pin ball. Oh. Yeah. Well, then never mind. Uh, hitting on threes. Oops. And wounding on threes. That'll be four wounds. Four up, rerolling ones. Ooh. Oh. Four wounds. Four wounds. You guys here are gonna run because they have the run and charge thing. Three inches. Two Shrieker Cannons, Shrieker Cannons, whichever, going into this unit here. Hitting on threes. And wounding on two. Yeah, wounding on twos. Four wounds. Three up. One dice. Yay. Transport's gonna flat out. Boop to right there. Take a danger strain. Danger strain, that's fine. Pikes over here, firing at your blue horrors. Hitting on threes. And wounding on two. There's three, yeah. There's three. They have their five up. Five up, rolling ones. Two one dies. We're into the assault phase now. My troop here are going to charge Fate Weaver. No range attacks. No, he is all psychic, yeah. All right, see if I make it. Ooh, good thing I have fleet. Again, again? No, you no that makes it. And my warlord will issue a challenge. I'll accept for the heck of it. <gasps> the lulls factor. Yay! Challenge, Shadow Seer is going first, hitting on twos? Because uh, yeah. weapon skill six? Well, threes, you can't go, you oh, can't, yeah. you can't do twos, yeah. So there's four hits, hits and wounding on twos, because Fleshbane. Three wounds. Three four ups. Oh, oh. I'll use Fate Weaver's reroll. Oh, okay. And he makes it. And the rest of them attacking, hitting on threes. And wounding on fives. That's better. One, two, three, four, five. Five four ups. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Yay! Slay the warlord. Consolidate for them. Six inches. To so their assault move for these guys. They're going four. Assault move for these two. They're going five, and they're just gonna go right there. And that will be the end of my turn. I score one point for Slay the Warlord, and that actually triggers my card. I don't get any points yet, though, because it's not until the end of the game. There you go. Um, and I also score another point for Securing Objective 5. Starting Chaos turn three, he drew Secure Objective 3 and Secure Objective 1. I think he's got three, and I think he's got one. Third roll for the Great Unclean One? He's no. not. 
Scratch that, he goes into ongoing reserve, so he didn't need to roll. I'm gonna land there. Ooh, that's cocked, but... Six inches. Boop. Right there. Plus the sun's advance, six inches. Ball grinder moving up on top of objective four. My legs keep... Horse is breaking away from the cult and jumping up. Are going, pink horrors are going to move up the board and rolling for their run as well, just to kind of save some time here. They're going seven inches. Fire Raptor. Oh no. Going off its base. I'm going to land up on top of the building there. Also moving through cover, five inches. All right there, putting them all within pistol range of my jet bike. Things of Chaos. Ten. Mm -hmm. We'll give plus one to all demon saves. Gross. Warp charges, six. six. So you're sitting at 17. I think so. Sorcerer over here doing a Zinch's Firestorm on my troop squad. Nothing. Oh. Firing a beam, getting two. it with two. Uh, I'm gonna try and cancel that with four of them. Okay. So show me two sixes. Show me two sixes. Nope, not a single six. In a line across him, you're getting one bike, two bikes, and my transport. Oh, uh, the two bikes, swinging on twos. Here's one wound. Okay. Uh, five up. Oh, I can jink. You can jink if you want. Uh, jinking for a two up, because I have shrouding. There you go. There we go. Okay, and then you got my transport. That's pen. Yep, and it's going to jink as well for a four up. Nope, pen goes through, and it's wrecked regardless, but it blows up. How big? 2d6 because of the uh, detonate special roll. Eight, eight inches. inches. Ugh, that's gross. First off on the four bikes. One. One, and it's Good. okay. And then you have two, four, six. I have six, six troop. And that's when you on threes. So four, four, five ups. Nope, three go. And then on my shadows here. Uh, how many is that? There is it just one? Yep. Yep. And he takes a wound. Okay, this guy's gonna try and turn to a bloodthirster. We got it. Oh yeah. Gonna land there. And goes up seven inches. So on the pretty much the other side of the pipe. Yeah. Good old pewter models. There you go. Yeah. are casting sensory overload on these two. I don't get it. Try to summon some blood crushers. I get it with one. Right. And try and cancel with one six here. Come on. Hey, there we go. Yeah. Torrent flamer on my bikes. That's gonna hurt because it goes to cover. Pointing on twos. And there's three, so two bikes. Because one already had a wound. And this one has two. Second, I forgot I have a five of involved. No, doesn't matter. And then your Harvester Cannon almost. Eight shots from here, going into my eight. Warlord squad. Uh, Correction, that's nine, because there's one pistol from the Sorcerer. Taking yeah. threes. That's a lot of hits. And then toughness of the small threes. There's toughness three, so yeah, there's three wounds there. All right, uh, five up. Okay, so one takes a wound and one dies. From the cultists going into my two jet bikes. 20 pistols. Ooh. And they need fours. Yes. Ooh. And their strength. Three. Okay. Wounding on fives. Five. Three wounds. Three four ups. Hey, one takes a wound. Fire Raptor next, firing a side cannon into my transport. Would you here. like to. Oh, I guess you have a fire. You yeah, have a, a have train cover. anyway. Twin linked. Three hits, and then Threes. side. Three, three pens. pens, right? Five up from ruins. Hey, Ooh. one pen goes through. And that will... It's 84. 84, so that's plus one, so it's weapon destroyed. There you go. So I lose one of my shrieker cannons. Side cannon into my two jet bikes. Hitting on threes, twin linked. I'll hit. Right. And two, two wounds. Right. Up cover. Oh, one takes a wound. This is running. So as he's flying, he moves to six. Full grinder's going to go for the charge against my jet bikes, looking for a 12. Oh, fleet. Uh, fleet. No, uh, not quite. As the suns are going to go for it, I'm going to overwatch. Yeah. yeah. One Nero pistol. Nope. Is that 12? No. Unless they're going to try and charge my jet bikes, they will overwatch. Okay. Need sixes. Nothing. And. They make no, it. Oh, no, you need a 10. Oh, they need a 10. Okay. And now the sorcerer is going to charge them, yeah. too. He and definitely makes it. Yeah. So pile in. Initiative 5. Since my jetpacks are higher initiative, they're attacking first. Uh, weapon skill. 
on your sorcery is four? Five. Five. Okay, hitting on threes. Ooh, two hits. Toughness four, needing five to wound. Nothing. Came back, hitting on fours. Just one hit, and they need a three to wound. Ooh. My jetpack's gonna hit and run. They get out of dodge. Going straight back three dice. They went back nine inches. And shoot. And keeping that wound with the guy. And consolidates four inches. And at the end of Chaos turn three, he got objective three and objective one for two points. So on my turn, I got secure objective two as well as hungry for glory. Starting off, Jetpack's gonna just jump right here and here. Right there. These guys are gonna move up. Soul Grinder. No, I'm ignoring the Soul Grinder. Soul Grinder's mean. Go in here and here. Strain. He's good. Flying six inches right here and gonna drop off the guys inside. In the psychic phase, we're for warp charges. Four, so that puts me at six. I'm gonna throw four of them into Veil of Tears. And got it with three. And that's all I'm gonna roll for. Going into the shooting phase, I'm going to have these two guys shoot at them. Nice. I got the shooting can sitting on three. And wounding on. Tough score. Yeah, wounding on uh, two. Yeah. There's four. And one of them is rending. Three normal, three ups. One. One dies, and then a four up. Sounds good. So. Except they're going to throw some star bullets. First one's going right here. For ooh, that's going back three inches. Be right there and catching two. And then the second one, starting on the same guy's head, direct hit. So that will catch three. And wounding on twos, that'll be five, AP two. By the time so the champion lives, good. So no. he's dead. And then look out four plus. Nope. No. So he saves it. Yep. Look out four plus. Nope. He dies, and then one more guy makes it to just the two. One Nero pistol from here into them. And you got a three. When you got a two from Fleshbane, AP two. So you got your four up. Makes it. Over here, firing some more star bullets. I'm gonna drop one right there. Show me a direct hit. No. Oh. oh my. That's going six inches. So it's probably gonna land on the other guy's head there. He's right on the middle guy. Yeah. Yeah. So right there. So it's going to hit the Bloodthirster. He's flying, so he's immune nope. to blasts. All right, and the second one, same target. Yeah, come here, you. And you. Just dropping dice all over the place here. Just dropping dice all over the place here. And direct hit. There you go. There we are. So that'll catch A lot. seven guys. Putting on twos. That'll be four. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to take the four then. Okay. Two Shrieker Cannon sitting on threes. Ooh, and wounding on twos, and that's five more. Um, maybe five. Maybe five, so yeah, so one, two, three. Over here I got my Nero pistols going into the great unclean one, hitting on threes. There's three, and wounding on twos from Fleshbane. There's three. Five up. Ooh, takes wound. I think on five wounds, four there, but yeah, it's five. And then the Shrieker Cannon going into him, hitting on threes. And he's toughness six? Seven. Seven. Oh, wounding on fives. One wound. And it goes through, so he's down to four. Into the assault phase now, gonna start off with these two. Gonna charge your Thousand Suns. Uh, Overwatch. Alright, so that'll be six shots in Overwatch. Six is one. One. It's a wound. Alright, five up. No. Oh, I lose a guy. So all that's left now is my champion there. Cool. Or my warlord, Child Seer. Not making it with a four, but Fleet makes it with a nine. Yeah. Boop. My two jetpacks are going to try and go for it. Four? Yeah, let's Fleet this. Four? Uh, I don't think I make it. Doesn't quite make it with a four. Yeah, no, it doesn't make it. Very close. John was nice enough to see I can make it, so this guy makes it, and this guy just jumps on the other side. You guys are gonna charge the great unclean one. Oh look, they make it. Yay. Why not? These two are gonna try and get your cultists. Do it. You should check at the end of the shooting, they're good. Okay. Number six is Ooh, Ooh. there's three, four, five. Oh. And two wounds. Alright. And two four ups. 
They're good. Now let me see that roll it again. Go for the charge. Uh, fleet. There we go. For wrath, really quick. Their toughness three. Yeah. Winning on threes. Nothing. Ooh, Out of combat. Going in there, hitting on threes. Okay, I'll take it. There you go. And wounding on twos. Oh, there you go. And they're all AP two. So that's two, four, six, seven guys. Piling in, still within three, so definitely can make it. And that's gonna be four attacks back, or are they two attacks each? They're two attacks each. Ugh, eight attacks back, hitting on fours. Average, and then two moves. All right, two four ups. They're good. Ooh. And leadership check. Oh, yeah, oh. See if you catch me, which is I'm assuming you will. Uh, uh, three, nine. Uh, eight, no, oh, they run. Five inches, and they're gonna go one inch, hitting right there. For this combat, my Shadow Seer gets to attack first. Five attacks, hitting on threes. Ooh, five hits. And wounding on twos. That's three wounds. Three three ups. One dice. And my bike's attacking, hitting on threes. And wounding on twos. That'll be four. Four wounds at AP two. Oh, I don't know one lives. Hey, pals in. Guess we attack back. I'm four. Doesn't hit. Combat. My bikes are going to hit and run there, and they get away. They're going to head towards the two there. Three dice. They're going uh 14 inches. And then the mount injector two. Over here, Harlequin's attacking the great unclean one. All attacking. That's going to be 20 attacks, hitting on fours. And wounding on sixes. Nothing. So Attack back. Fours. Ooh. And then strength six. So twos. Three. So four, five ups. And I lose two guys. And that'll be the end of turn three where I score one point for objective two. Start of turn four, he got secure objective five, big game hunter, and secure objective two. Others are jumping down into glide, and he's going to fly over there. Check over here. Ew, nope. They're off. And, and they're yeah, off. They're off. off. Twelve. Oof. Champion jumping to right behind my jet bikes. Those are scooching around just to completely surround my jet bikes. The raptors dropping down into hover mode and just coming right down here. Lift. Yeah. Two. Two game fours. Deja vu. I know. Eh? Grinder move through cover. Three. Oh. Ooh, three inches. Do you get the reroll movement with Fleet too when you move through cover? Yep. Okay, I'll do that then. Sure, I think so. I but think regardless, you, you got it. Yeah. yeah. I think it doesn't really matter because you're yeah. even three would get you close enough to get my Warlord there. Warp charges in the second phase. Eight. You got. 14. Ooh, gross. A clean one going for Enfeeble. Doesn't get it. No. Doors are firing flickering fire on them. Need three. And I got three. Got three with the perils. Yep. Perils is six. Oh, uh, someone's going going to be awesome. And, yep, somebody just got all the powders. 46. Ooh, 19. Hitting on fours. And wounding on threes. All right, well, I do get my four up. Come on, guys. Just pass all of this. Nope, they're dead. Three overload on these guys. Got it with one. Yep, and what does that do? It's strength four, AP four, assault four, blind concussive pinning. Gross. Threes. Winning on what's your toughness for? So yep. fours. One. One. All right. And I got a four up. Got it. Good. Symphony of Pain. Got it. Yep. So it's uh, single enemy units in 24 inches while spiders infect. The unit has minus one weapon skill and ballistic skill. And that's basically all that happens for this. Okay. Winds of Chaos. Three. Oh no. So demonic instability test for someone randomly chosen. So we have a one, two, three, four. Five, six is a great unclean one, and it will be... Scattered! Yeah, D20 <laughs> on my other hand, too. So that's so a a And it's a... 3D6. Yeah. He's good. Look at that. Three that's ones. amazing. There you go. Fire Raptor shooting at my one hall point remaining vehicle. The two auto cannons. Jink yes. <laughs> Twin linked. Oh. And then strength seven. Three to glance. Those are... Okay, the glance. Well, that goes through. 
And then four up. They Ooh. all go through. Okay, uh, does it blow up? No. No. Just gone. Pistol into the back of one of my jet bikes. Hits. Mm -hmm. And wounds. Alright, tiny dice. Five up, or four up. Nope, no. bad. Six up, feel nothing. Yes, that's right. Haha! -ha. <laughs> Four's charging into my jet bikes. Totally gonna overwatch. Six shots. Come on, guys. Actually, kill something here. Hitting on sixes. Nope. Okay, that was fun. And they make it. Sorcerer definitely makes it. Soul Grind is going to assault my Shadows here. A little fleet might as well. <laughs> Three. Still makes it. Yeah, there you go. This combat here, so I can't even hurt you, so you just get to really swing at me. That's uh, fours and then twos. All right, five up. Nope. There's flat. Boop, boop, and one takes a wound. Not that many wounds, just that many wounds. Shadow Seer gonna attack that guy just because that's all I can hit. Threes and twos, and you got three. Three ups. Three ups. Like a boss. And you're fine. Totally survives, so now you get to attack back. I think you're gonna uh, kill me. The Thousand Sun hits. hits. Doesn't nope. wound. And then you got your Soul Grinder. Soul Grinder fours and twos. Three wounds. All right, and three five ups. Oh, hey! Oh, there we go. Over here, my jet bikes get to attack first, hitting on fours, because we're the same weapon skill now. Uh, well, hitting their only weapon skill. Oh yeah, because they're minus one. Yeah. yeah. So that's three hits there, and your that's toughness three. three. So fours again. There's three. Five up, three one ones. Oh, one dies. Four is to hit, when attacking back. And five to wound. Three. Three, all right, well, three four ups. Oh, there six goes. Up, six up for a little bit. All right, I have that. No, there goes a bike. Because he was already wounded. Sure. Sorcerer. Yeah. Threes, and strength five, so threes again. Yep. One. one. No, oh, goes through. I didn't put oh, horse on. Six up. Nope, still takes a wound. One blue horror hitting on a yep and wounding on a six. No. Or I think he auto hits, but oh, it doesn't okay. matter. Alright, so at this point I have three models left on the board. Yeah, I have a Shadow Seer who's engaged with stuff, Soul Grinder and a Thousand Sun. I have one jet bike that's surrounded by blue horrors, mm -hmm. and then I have one troop master who's engaged with a great, great unclean one. That was really difficult to say. Yeah, I agree. At this point, I have no way of catching you in points or not getting tabled next turn. So, John, sir, good, good, good game. game. Good game. Very fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Go ahead and click the link below if you want to see another battle report. That's for Vault members only. If you're not already a Vault member, go ahead and click that link anyway. It'll give you access to a seven day free trial where you get to see another battle report. You also get access to all the fun stuff we have in the Vault, like our extra battle reports, behind the scenes, open vaults, painted tutorials, and all the other wacky fun stuff we have here at Mini Wargaming. Until then guys, happy Wargaming.